Hey guys, how's it going? Well, we're about to test this. I had to mod the back end of the rifle, as I knew I would, uh, for this new adapter. A word of advice, don't ignite your bottles first, because uh, you're going to piss out probably about five or six shots worth of gas to whop that thing in there real quick. But, that's okay, not a big deal. It's, it's a different kind of a system than a regular 88 gram bottle, it's a one-time user. I mean, you slowly pierce that on the way in and it seals really easy. This thing, as soon as that button pops, that's it. So you're going to have to whip it in there quick or do not ignite the bottles until after you've got it screwed in. And uh, both the bottles do ignite just from the turner here, so not a big deal. So we're going to shoot this thing over the crony. And uh, I have no idea what pellets my wife put in. Um, what did you wide put cutters. in? Wide cutters. Okay, so we got 7.4 grain wad cutters. We know they were doing 460s over the crony when we were doing our testing earlier. And um, so we're going to see what it's like. Now that was with a 90 gram bottle. This is 212 gram bottle, so I'm expecting the FPS to drop on this sucker. Three twenty seven, three twenty nine, three forty eight, two seventy two, that's crummy, two sixty seven, two sixty six, two ninety one, two seventy one, two eighty one, two thirty seven, two seventy seven, two sixty seven, two sixty four. 271, 246, 285, 258, 252, 259, 255, 259, 242, 266, 252, 246, 235, 256, 55, 57, 43, 242. I think you're out. <laughs> You're doing it for a reason. Okay. That's it. End of line. Oh. So you're going to get easy 60 shots. Okay, one video I watched, the guy only got 40, um, and that was it. You actually could get 60. So I don't know, maybe he had a uh, U.S. version. Oh, it's still a little bit of gas. Oh. Little fart sound there, that's kind of cute. <laughs> so, um, close up. So you can see in here, um, we really had to carve out... A bunch around here now the nice thing about it is there's this little actuator here okay which is for taking your stock on and off okay and uh, so it's got a bit of a ridge there that you can follow with your Dremel now you might want to push that in a little bit to keep following the top edge makes no difference the worst meat to get rid of is up top here and up at the bottom seam but you're gonna have to carve this out and you see when the bottle goes in I'll just take it just before. So I have some gap space in here, which is what we need. And I have gap space there, and it's a little bit tighter in there. So what I might do is peel a little bit more away from this edge right down in here. Okay, so from here to maybe right into here. So I might peel that, but not really necessary either way because that just screws in, it's sealed, it's nice and tight. And I'm seeing we still got a good gap. I made a big gap there. Um, so yeah, I might, yeah, actually, you know what? I'm gonna make this gap a little bit bigger because if I make this just a bit bigger in this area in here, that might allow me to get it in quicker and still have gas ignited in this thing so it wouldn't, you know, stop so suddenly. Oh. Still some gas in this thing. So when you're going to um, remove the gas, just um, these, these are your vent holes here. So 
There we go. Not much left. Not much. <laughs> and this thing gives an amazing piercing job. Now, I don't mind having to mod my rifle for this um, because I'm sick and tired of paying for expensive gas. Now, that is a really awesome piercing job. You don't ask wow. for anything better than that. I mean, that is outstanding. So, that does a great job piercing. I am going to try crossman models in this thing. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, you're not going to get any extra FPS. Um, I've seen some testing actually on, uh, I think it's uh, AAR or Air Gun Andy's, whatever he calls himself. Anyways, um, he did some testing on CO2, uh, different brands, and it's only like plus or minus like one FPS for doesn't matter what brand you use. It's going to be all the same. Now, we did lose a fair amount of FPS. Okay, 460s with a 90 gram, great at 10 meters. Um, this may do okay at 10 meters. Um, we're kind of like in the 300s a little bit. Uh, mostly 250s, 260s with 2 gram, 2 12 gram CO2s, which is actually pretty good because if all you want to shoot off is two belts worth, that's, I mean, that's 60 shots. You know, I can't handle shooting off 220 rounds out of this thing you know in one sitting it's just it's monotonous it's boring as heck at that point you know unless i'm going to have a fun time going Brrr! at a bunch of stuff i'd rather have a fully auto gun for that which is on the list um but for a semi-auto here um definitely you know it is a really cool gun this will work fine on your mcx but you are definitely going to have to do this mod you will probably have to do this same mod on the mpx rifle as well it's just a matter of your dremel uh, i started out with stones and they were too slow so i moved up to a sanding uh, drum which actually i got to change this so i can finish <laughs> this off um, but uh, the sanding drums actually work better and the idea is to run run full power and just go around like this very gently you know put a little bit of pressure because you're going to need to Okay, and just keep going around and around. And I can tell I got it really thin in here. I'm going to have to bring this area out just a bit more in here, and I'll be perfect um, and uh, good to go. So I think this is uh, a good concluded test anyways on, on this thing. Um, it works fine. It holds gas fine. I did not get a leaker. A few people have gotten leakers right out of the box. Um, I did not. Um, but it does work. You just got to modify your gun. Now, I've even seen people, because this is Umarex, and there is a Umarex gun out there. It's a rifle. Um, can't remember the model of it, but that one, it was a buttstock issue where this was actually too much uh, at the back end, and it wouldn't quite close the buttstock. Otherwise, it screwed in fine. But uh, certainly on M MPX and MCX. Now, although they are not listed on the compatibility list of popular air guns designed for this, um, it it is an 88 to 90 gram replacement tube, but I find that this is a little bit short in here. Umarex, if you're watching my video, make this longer. Okay, this threaded area, the threads don't need to be longer, but the main top portion, if this was about an eighth of an inch longer in length for, for this area, then that would be perfect and nobody would have to mod their blasted guns. Okay, because that is nothing but a pain. Also voids your warranty, by the way. <laughs> so whatever was left in my warranty is now gonzoed. But I didn't care. It's because the gun works fine. I'm fine with it. I didn't care about voiding my warranty. But you will void your warranty by modifying that area. Because I'll tell you right now, they're going to know you did it if you try to claim a warranty. And they're going to be like, you messed with it, no warranty. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. And we'll definitely see you probably in another video or two with this gun using this thing and see how it actually works it to 10 meters anyways. And uh, see what the weather's like tomorrow or the next day, whichever. Anyways, see ya.